this bone right here in your body, your leg, your big leg bone. This will help straighten it out till we can get you to the hospital. So that's what that's for. My number one goal is that the kids recognize that they're part of something bigger than just our school and that literacy is important for everyone. Um, and so that they understand that, they're, that they have a role in making their lives and their community successful. Good citizens see us, they know us, we're in the pat neighborhood patrol and that's why we wear a uniform. We want the people to see us that we're out and about, okay? The car is, is, is equipped with radio. Most of them have a big uh, cage in the back that we lock the bad guy up in. Okay, I've got extra bullets. I got pepper spray, you all know what this is. Handcuffs, right? We use handcuffs on somebody, right? Usually. Right? And then, and then we do is we put them in the car, right? We give, we give them a little nookie here, right? Ah. I see lots of smiles and excitement from the kids, which um, is exciting for me. I also see them seeing more adults that are concerned about them and care about them which is great that they realize that there's more than just their teachers that want them to read and even more than just their parents encouraging them to read but that they have a whole community around them. What bulk cleanup is, is we pick up all the big items that you cannot fit in your in your normal garbage cans that you set out in front of your house. Have you guys all seen the garbage trucks that dump your cans? Everybody seen those? Oh. So when you see a garbage truck in your neighborhood, make sure you stand back, okay? You guys can watch it, but don't get close to the truck because sometimes it's hard for us to see the kids, all right? Does everybody understand? In a community, we need everyone to be a part of the success. So that if your neighbor reads, he's gonna be successful, but if you don't, you'll miss out. But we all need to work together to build that community. Who likes ice cream? Me! Okay, so when I back up to the dock, where they make ice cream, I tell them to put 45,000 pounds of ice cream in my trailer. That'd keep you going for a little while, wouldn't it? Trucks haul most all of the produce and all of the food that you see in the grocery store. I also see people, or students building background knowledge and asking questions um, about the cars that they've seen their whole life but didn't understand what they did. So it's exciting um, to get to have these kids build that background knowledge as they get to interact personally with the people that they see but don't always know what they do.